Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. And this episode, I'm gonna start showing you guys how to organize a little bit inside of your project window. When you bring in a bunch of footage, it's largely unorganized and we can start moving these things into folder and organizing them. Uh, so let's show you how to create some folders. Uh, a couple different views that I have down here at the very bottom left-hand corner is you've got a list view and you've got an icon view. If you want the icon view, it'll show a thumbnail of the footage that you're dealing with here. Uh, one thing that you gotta realize with the list view is that the icon view arrangement is based off of the list view order. It can be. So what I'm going to do to arrange these in, in order, in the same order as my list view, I'm going to go under list view here, and I'm going to arrange up here by name. Right now it's arranged by frame rate. Uh, we have a couple different frame rates down here, but I'm going to hit name. It'll rearrange in order of name rather than by time code. Uh, so now when I go under the icon view here, I'll click on icon view. I'm going to move over this window and hit my tilde key, which will bring this full screen, and I can really start organizing and seeing what I'm organizing here. I'm going to move down to this little drop-down menu here, this little sort icons menu here for this view, and I'm going to tell it to use my list view sort to sort these icons here, which is this preference right here. So it's going to read this preference right there, and it's going to range in that way. If I click on this and do sort icons, and tell it to say list view sort. Right now it's doing user order. Anything that you open up, it's going to put it as the, the foremost file here, uh, as one of the most recent files that you've used. Uh, so I'm going to go to list view sort, and this will put this in complete alphabetic order going from left. And then after that, it jumps down to the next row and it continues from left to right, drops down to the next row and left to right and so on until it finishes, until we reach the end here. I can go down and grab my uh, slider here and make these icons just a little bit bigger so we can see what we're looking at here. But I've got footage from three different projects, and I want to organize these. So this is from a fight scene up here. Uh, then down here, this is for some drone footage. And then down here, this is from like a little scary short film here. So, so if I want to start organizing this, I can go down to this and go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit new bin. New bin is going to add a folder. A folder is a bin. I covered this in a previous episode. Uh, Primary chooses to cut uh, to call bin uh, relating to uh, motion picture film. But I'm going to call this fight scene. And there's my folder right there. And by the way, uh, you have a shortcut. If you don't want to click on this folder down here, you can hit the shortcut Command B or Control B. If you're on a Mac, it's con Command B, and on a PC, it's Control B. Uh, B as in bin. And that will create a new bin. And now I have my second bin here, and I can call this drone footage. Now I can hit Command B again, and then I can type in short film, whenever you want to call these. So, so this is just one way that, of doing this. I'm going to show you a different way of doing this in a moment here. But now I can grab all the footage. I'm going to click on my first clip here, and I can grab all the footage that belongs to this uh, fight scene here. And it ends right here. That's the last shot right there. So I'm going to hold down Shift. If you hold down Shift and click on the last, and click on this thumbnail here, it's going to select everything in between. This is a basic, basic function of using your regular Finder, of using your Explorer in Windows or your Finder in Mac. Uh, when you're navigating through files, you can use the shift key to select a whole bunch of, a whole range of, of, of files in between the one, that, the first one that you select and the last one you select. Now I can just grab this and I can drag it. I can hover over my fight scene folder here until it turns like completely bright like this and you let go and it just dropped all that media in there. And do the same to my drone footage, select, go down to the last one. If this moves over far to the right, comes back down here and right here is my last one. I'm going to hold down shift and click. If you want to select individual ones, you can do that by holding down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC, and you go click, 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 and that just highlights the one that I was clicking on. Those ones are now selected, so if I drag that to my drone footage, it's going to drop just those ones. But I want all my drone footage in here, so I'm going to select all of this, drag it over, I'll hover over drone footage, and drop. And then the last one here I've got is my little short film here, so I'm going to, so I'm going to select all that footage with using the Shift key, drag this over, and hover over till it turns white and drop, and now everything is organized into folders. Once it's done this, I like to go back to the list view, uh, and then you can look at your folders in this list view where you can arrow down, there's all my footage, there's all my footage, there's all my footage there, so for, for e each individual category there. Now, if you want to access this footage, you can basically just double click on them as well. This is the workflow I like when I start editing. I will double click on one of these folders, and it opens it up in a new tab. Here's my project folder. This is the, to the top tier of my organization here. And now under that, there's my fight scene. And when you double click on it, it opens it up as a bin. So there's a bin, fight scene. I click on that. And here's all my footage here. And I like when I start editing to turn this into icon mode within the bins. I like the icon mode. And I like to organize these by list view sort. And then I can start editing this scene by looking at my icons. Once again, you can change the size if you need. So you can do that to these other folders and double click, opens it up in that folder here. Let's make that icon, make sure it's list view sort and go to the last one here and double click on that. 
and we go icon view. So I like to keep my project window in, in list view, and then I like to keep my bins where I have my footage, where you're looking at the footage, in icon mode here. So now I'm going to hit tilde and go back to this. And by the way, right now I am under assembly. I'm under the assembly workspace. If I click window, workspace is I am under assembly. That's also the same over here. You click on this little blue dot with these workspaces here, and you have different arrangements here for different functions here. But right now I'm under my assembly view, which gives me a lot more viewing space in my project window. But once again, project window, short film, drone, fight scene, all my bins right there open and I'm ready to start editing. Now I've got them back to, to the way I started here because I'll show you a secondary way of doing this. You can either use the command or control B to create folders. Here's another kind of easy way to do this. I'm going to tilde over this window, make it go full screen. I'm going to go to icon mode and I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to select the first one, go to the very last clip of this scene and go shift click and I selected everything in between. You can grab these and you can drag them down to this little folder icon in the bottom right hand corner of your project window, let go and it drops all that footage into a bin, and now I can just call this fight scene. I can do the same to my drone footage, drag it and drop it, call this drone footage, grab my last footage, drag it down to a folder, drop it over the folder, and it drops it all into a new folder. By the way, when this when this makes a new folder, it's just gonna call it bin, and notice it is highlighted in blue, which means it already has it selected. I see people do this where they hit their, well, they'll hit their arrow to the right to get to the end of this, and then hit their backspace key or delete key to get rid of that name, and then they'll type in the name. That You don't have to go, th go through all that effort to rename that folder. When you select that folder, first of all, it is already highlighted blue, which means when you start typing, it'll delete bin and it will, and it will replace it with F whatever you decide to write here. So once again, I'm not arrowing back and deleting that letter, those letters one at a time. I'm just typing in short film, and it just deletes it. And then when I hit return, it completes it. And now I have those three folders. So that's another way of organizing those into folders. Either way it works. But organization, very, very important for a short film, for especially for feature film, for any sort of projects that you're working on. Organization is key to keeping track of all your footage and keeping yourself organized.